Hello everybody. I just want to warn everyone from Japan chat about Fernando Martel, or as everyone calls him, Uzio. People need to know what kind of nasty, sick person he is because I'm sick of all his lies and his games and watching him make fun of people every single day, tormenting their lives when he's really the bad one. When I first came into Japan One Chat, it was nine years ago, and Uzio was here. I didn't know who he was at the time, but he pinned me, and we talked, and he asked me for my picture, so I sent it to him, and he told me I am very cute, and he sent me photos of him, too, but I didn't know, but the photos he sent me were not really him. They were just pictures of neuromods he stole and sit on him. So I told him he was very cute, and each day we started talking over PM. And not long after that, he told me he really likes me, and he wanted to send me a gift for Christmas. And I was very surprised and flattered, so I gave him my address so he can send it to me, but I never got anything from him. And then his excuse was maybe it got lost in the mail. So it really didn't matter to me at the time. And we talked so many months together, and then one day he told me his mother is dying of cancer and that he is very depressed and sad and suicidal. And then he told me that he hates to ask me, but can he borrow some money to help pay for her chemotherapy treatment? And I felt very sad for him, so I sent him Ichiman Yen to help some. But after that, he always asked me to send him shirts and shoes, also cigarettes. And I sent him a shirt and some cigarettes just to be nice. But always he would ask for more and more. And if I refused to him, he'd yell at me and get mad. And then one day he told me it's very cold there and he needs a new jacket. But I asked him to please buy his own jacket because he's a grown man. So he got very mad at me and he cussed at me and called me a bitch. And I was very surprised by his behavior after I tried to help him so much. He was very rude to me. And the next day, he totally changed again, and he was very apologetic and told me he was very sorry, and he was just depressed because his mother died. So I felt very bad for him because he said this, and I forgave him, and we started talking more. And then in the chat room, I noticed he is a very hateful person, always rude to everybody, and he was always insulting others, calling them dirty names, and also making IDs similar to theirs and acting like they are gay or whores. He even stole their photos and edited them to make them look very nasty and gross or sexual pictures. And I asked him why he does this, and he always told me it's not him, it's not him, and he made excuses, but I knew he was a liar. And he also would always ask me about other chatters, and he wanted their names and their pictures, especially neuromods. He wanted information about neuromods all the time, or Buddhas. And he told me never to chat with other people in the room because they're all liars, and they just make lies about others. But... I saw Neuromods in the chat room, and on his profile, I saw a picture of Uziel sent, that Uziel sent me. It was the exact same picture that Uziel said was him. So I PM Neuromods and asked why he has a photo of Uziel there, but Neuro told me that that's his picture, and he showed me his camera to prove it, so I was very surprised. And... I asked Uziel why he lied to me and sent me Neuromods pictures instead of his real photos. And he told me because he thought if he sends his real picture that I would never like him or talk to him because he's very ugly. And he told me that he thinks Neuromods is very handsome, so that's why he sent me his picture. So I asked him to send me his real photo that it don't matter what he looks like, but instead he sent me some picture of a large muscle guy and he tried to tell me that it's him. So I knew he was lying and I yell at him and tell him never to pee me again because he's a liar and very mean person to others. And I didn't like the way he treat people in the chat room. And that's when he showed me his web camera. And then I saw the real him and his real face. And he was crying and he begged me not to leave him. And there was a lady, uh, some lady standing next to him. So I asked, who is that lady next to you? And he told me it's his mother. 
So I said, you mean the mother you said died of cancer? And then he closed his web camera very fast and he log off and disappear. And then three weeks later, um, I got a delivery of roses to my apartment and they said from Fernando with love. And uh, I threw them in the trash can and burned them because I didn't want them and I didn't want anything from him. And then his mother called my home many times begging me to stay with him and she would not stop calling me. And uh, he also called me every night and I had to change my phone number because of this. And then they always send me letters in the mail uh, asking me to stay with Fernando. And his mother sent me letters asking never to leave him and to please take care of her son. So I had to contact the police, but they couldn't do anything about it. And then every time I log on to Yahoo, Uziel sent me messages and he buzzed me or tried to invite me to his web camera. So I finally got so mad at him that I yelled at him in the chat room and told him on the microphone in front of everybody there to leave me alone and fuck off. And then he got very mad at me. And the next day he made an ID almost like mine and was trying to act like me, saying nasty things in the chat room. And on the profile, he edited my photo to make me look very nasty and sexual. And then he pinned me laughing about it, telling me that he's going to keep doing it. And he did this for a very, very long time and always harassing me and bothering me and calling me names. And anybody in the chat room that would try to stop him from bothering me, he would clone their IDs and make fun of them and edit their photos too. And Neuromods, he tried to help me and told Uziel to leave me alone and to stop bothering me, but Uziel attacked him and then edit his photos to make him look nasty and clone his IDs and said bad things about him. And also Buddhas tried to help me and Uziel did the same to Buddhas. And because Uziel knew I talked to Neuromods, he became very jealous and he started making rumors about Neuro that he tried to say that Neuro raped somebody and stole their money, but it's just a lie. It's not true. Uziel just make it up because he's jealous. And he also tried to say that Neuromods is married and has a wife, but it's also a lie because I know for sure Neuromods doesn't have a wife. Uziel just make these stories because he's jealous that Neuromods talks to girls that Uziel knows, so he's a very jealous person. And he also makes stories about Buddhas, and Buddhas tried to help me also, but Uziel said bad things about him and cloned his ID and played stupid music on the microphone while cloning him. So Uziel is always doing these things and he makes lies about other people because he's jealous of their life. So I'm going to tell you now about the real truth about Uziel and the things he doesn't want other people to know about him. So I will tell you for sure that his name is really Fernando Martel and he is older than he acts but he tries to say that he is younger but it's not true he was born in 1980 and he lives in barcelona spain with his mother and he doesn't work uh, he doesn't have a job and he never went to like college or school because his sister told me that he is very afraid to go out in public in large crowds because he has a mental issue and he doesn't like to be around many people and then she also told me that he is afraid of old men because his grandfather molested him at a young age and used to touch him. And then this is a very big secret that Fernando doesn't want anybody to know. But he told me to never tell anybody, but he is really bisexual. And he usually likes men over women because he told me women never like him because he says he's ugly. And honestly, I think he is very ugly. He's not very good looking. He's very skinny and his head's very weird shaped and his hair is very messy and he looks dirty. So, but I used to think it's funny when we talk together because we always talking about what guys are cute and what guys aren't. And he's always telling me that Buddhas is very cute and muscular and he liked Buddhas. And he said Neuromods has very nice eyes and he looks very nice looking. So he's very jealous of Neuromods. And he also talking about Leotard. Uh, he said that Leotard is very nice looking and he wants Leotard's hair. He said that Leotard has very nice hair. 
So this is the truth about Fernando. He's obsessed with men, and he will do anything to make other people look bad so he can try to make himself look good. But no one should trust him. He's very big liar, and everything he says is just bullshit. And if you don't listen to him, he tries to stalk you and get information about you. And if he can't get information about you, he makes it up. He makes fake information about people's mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, because he can't get their real information. So he just makes like stories up and tries to get other people to believe it. So everybody should just always ignore him and never talk to him and just ignore all his chat IDs. He always has so many IDs in the chat room and he's always using female IDs to try to trick people so people should just ignore him and never ever talk to him and never click on his links because they have so much spam and most people that click on his websites their PC starts to be very slow so people should be careful